Hi, everybody. Uh, get ready to play bullshit bingo now. Uh, because uh, this afternoon I'll talk about how to gamify personal data. Gamify um, sounds state of the art, I would say. I thought it can never be wrong to use the term gamification in 2012. So, when you think uh, about gamification, and really, really personal information about uh, you and your body. What comes to your mind? You probably heard of it. Let me introduce you to the quantified self. Uh, a few years ago, some people started uh, this kind of a movement, uh, also called uh, self-tracking, and they're uh, measuring all kinds of uh, body and health data and so on. And uh, uh, for example, it looks like uh, that uh, very creative uh, slogan uh, in this ad of the uh, uh, on body monitoring system body media my gps to a healthier life i love it uh, you maybe uh, know some of the other popular devices uh, in self-tracking uh, for example uh, nike fuel band nike plus or uh, uh, Runtastic or whatever the names are. And now I would be curious, uh, who of you ever used uh, such uh, a device? Okay, quite a few. Maybe the majority. I uh, expected that. Uh, so you maybe already know, uh, for all the others who didn't use uh, uh, such a self-tracking device, you'd be surprised how much you burn doing laundry. Uh, another wonderful ad. Uh, here's an example report. Uh, this tool tracks uh, calories, uh, um, activity, number of steps, sleep duration, and so on. And you can set target values uh, and then uh, try to reach that. So gamification. Um, you can see uh, this person is in a weight loss trend. Great. But uh, if you look at the bottom, uh, sleep duration, only four hours, 17 minutes, I would say not so good. However, uh, it uh, records everything from sunrise to sunset and beyond. Uh, <laughs> I would say, know your body, uh, change your life is the slogan from Body Media. Uh, self-tracking could be a great chance for individuals. Uh, but maybe it could not be only uh, a great chance for, uh, chance for individuals like you and me. Uh, what if I am a health insurance company? And I ask you as my uh, customer, uh, let's gamify our relationship. So uh, use this kind of self-tracking device uh, uh, meet your targets and lower your premiums. Does that sound uh, good to you? Uh, beware, because I am the health insurance company. I could uh, modify that a bit, uh, and suddenly I change it to... And uh, after that, I write a letter and I say, you didn't fully meet uh, your minimum targets for the last two billion periods. Uh, please comply with the contract terms. So... Will that be the future? Health insurance companies monitoring uh, their customers all day. Uh, you didn't reach your 10,000 steps, so get up and move, uh, you lazy sucker. Uh, I didn't believe that myself uh, until I had a look uh, at the website of uh, Digifit, uh, which is the best-ranked self-tracking device on quantifiedself.com. Uh, if you move to the corporate wellness section, scroll down, you find an interesting offer. Uh, insurers get comprehensive, verifiable data uh, that is both personal and motivational for your members. Uh, and if you uh, go change to the website uh, of Digifit uh, competitor Fitbit, uh, and you also go to the corporate wellness, uh, uh, corporate wellness section, scroll down, you see a similar offer. Insurers measure progress over time with validated data. So, I don't think uh, they're selling their data, but they're definitely crying 
uh, insurance companies uh, choose us, choose our tool, use our tool, and so on. And this is exactly, uh, exactly what kept me busy in the last two years. I mean, uh, I knew something about technologies like information retrieval or data mining and so on, but I didn't know so much about selling personal data. And uh, so I permanently tried to imagine future business models uh, in this area and slowly became kind of an expert uh, in the area of personal data business models. Uh, of course, uh, it's not only health data collected uh, uh, today. Uh, as you all know, in the uh, digital age, virtually everything uh, we do is recorded, tracked or monitored uh, in some way. Collected data ends up in uh, big, uh, huge clusters of databases. Technologies like uh, information retrieval or data mining help to find the relevant information in these massive amounts of data. Now, I could preach to you, be a bit more careful with your personal data. Uh, Think about what you're posting uh, on social networks. Think twice before um, turning on GPS on your smartphone. Uh, we didn't do that. We uh, said, worried about your privacy, forget it. Switch roles now and find out all, all the dirty details about your friends, your neighbors and the rest of the world. Me and a small team uh, from Vienna, we had an idea. And our idea was to gamify a personal data business. And we called the result Data Dealer. Uh, data, dealer <laughs> data Dealer is a browser game, uh, uh, a social game, and even uh, a Facebook uh, game. And it looks like that. As a data dealer, you've got uh, your database in the center uh, of the screen, what else? And you uh, know some people, got some connects to the underground economy, for example, you know Manny Meyer, who is a private investigator, a bit fucked up, uh, and he knows uh, Nurse Helen. Uh, Nurse Helen works uh, in a big hospital. Uh, uh, her uh, salary uh, got lowered at the same time. She has to work longer now, so she's a bit frustrated, as you can see. Uh, so she sells you some uh, data records on her patients, for example, on chronic diseases and so on. Um, if you pay her a few bucks, uh, then you can collect these uh, profiles uh, she uh, delivered to you. Uh, this is pretty much uh, Synga style. Uh, as you're uh, uh, harvesting crops in Farmville, you're collecting profiles in Data Dealer. Uh, and you can also run some um, online projects in company, for example, uh, an online dating platform. Uh, with this online dating platform, you can collect some uh, interesting details on uh, relationship status, sexual orientation, even political uh, attitude, uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, you also can upgrade your uh, dating platform. Uh, if you upgrade to premium membership, uh, you get validated names and addresses because your users have to pay. Uh, and uh, you should do uh, advertising, uh, single parties, crucial uh, when you're uh, running uh, an online dating platform. And you should set up your team, not only manager, graphic designer, but also psychologists and lawyers are very important here. Uh, so, as uh, your data empire grows, you run some other projects uh, and companies like uh, loyalty card systems or uh, sweepstakes, personality tests, and so on. And if you now have a look at the database of this data dealer, you can see in the top left, uh, this data dealer has uh, got more than one uh, million profiles uh, in his database and quite interesting uh, attributes. Uh, for example, uh, not only name, address, and so on, but all the also interesting attributes uh, uh, like uh, personal files or medical files and so on. And uh, of course, the data dealer can also sell uh, his uh, data, look at the red uh, wires. Uh, for example, he can sell it to insurance companies or to human resource departments of big companies and help them uh, to make better decisions. <laughs> uh, we've been working on that uh, for the last two years uh, and uh, we've also got a 
nice Facebook page uh, address. Uh, currently, uh, we're de developing the full-featured social game version. Uh, and uh, uh, by the way, uh, Data Dealer is a non-profit project, uh, and it's published under Creative Commons CC by SA, like uh, Wikipedia. So uh, when we were working on the game design, uh, database in the center, data dealer collecting all the different uh, stuff from the different companies and so on in one fat uh, database. Uh, we thought this is maybe a bit over the top. This is maybe a, a, a kind of dystopia uh, we're drafting here. We knew that uh, Google or Facebook, uh, common key examples for companies uh, collecting really big data, they don't do that yet. Uh, but uh, after I met uh, a guy uh, at a conference in Vienna where I presented this game in summer, uh, he has been working in the data brokerage industry for many years in leading position in Germany. He said, uh, it's not over the top at all. Uh, everything you invented here, uh, it's already there. And he, for example, came up uh, with a company uh, which obviously collected the largest, uh, the world's largest database on consumers. Uh, it's called Axiom. Uh, Axiom collected uh, information about more than 500 million uh, individuals and uh, up to 1,500 attributes per individual. For example, they uh, collected uh, credit history, driving history, criminal history, residential history, employment history, education history, and so on. Also, uh, purchase behavior, voter parties, health interests and so on. They also run a YouTube channel uh, where they feature uh, really nice marketing videos, and I can't resist to show you a short part of one of these uh, Axiom marketing videos. Uh, pay attention how beautiful they use uh, their X in their name. The world of information. YouTube quality. A way to improve consumer data to level now the X rises. <laughs> With Infobase X, Axiom has done exactly that. No matter how good your data currently is, imagine it better. Imagine so, enough. <laughs> uh, target it. Huh? Uh, Axiom's uh, only one of a couple of major companies in this, in this area. Uh, another one uh, would be LexisNexis Risk Solutions, also a very nice word. Uh, uh, and uh, they've got a similar amount of uh, data on consumers, uh, um, data uh, records, and uh, they also have uh, an impressive range of offers uh, on their website. They are not only selling data, for example, about problem renters, uh, they're also doing uh, employee screening, uh, background screening, and so on. Uh, and uh, they even write uh, on their website somewhere, we help predict the likelihood that a consumer will become delinquent in the next 18 months. Uh, and they're not uh, only selling, uh, of course, they're not selling uh, only the data to uh, companies, but also to governmental agencies. Uh, look at the nice Black Hawk. Uh, Privacy is uh, important for companies like LexisNexis or Axiom. Privacy is so incredibly important uh, for the CEO of Axiom, for example, that he mentioned in an interview in March 2012, uh, we, we've been the first company having a chief privacy officer, and uh, there's not a piece of privacy legislation written that Axiom hasn't had a voice in. Uh, Privacy is so incredibly important uh, for a company like Axiom uh, that if you look at their fre frequently asked questions, uh, when the question is, why can't I view the marketing data you have about me? The answer, unfortunately, it isn't as simple as you'd think. Our first priorities are always privacy and security, and providing this information is challenging without the right systems in place. Poor axiom. 
Axiom is a kind of old school uh, uh, data brokerage company. Uh, they started, I think, 40 years ago, uh, and they started uh, by sending personalized letters and so on, and they're not so uh, connected to the digital world uh, up to now, but they're trying hard. As uh, you can see, uh, for example, in uh, a slide I found, uh, uh, Axiom uh, presentation slide I found on the internet, uh, here they're asking, what if we could use social data like Google does it? Uh, or, for example, they uh, ask on another slide, uh, most social content remains uh, anonymous, so identifying users is a challenging problem. It's really uh, a very interesting presentation. Uh, uh, so, surveillance uh, was a hard and painful job some 30 years ago. Uh, uh, but times are changing. I've been using uh, the Internet since the 1990s, uh, and so at the same time I know uh, that uh, digital communication technologies open up uh, really great possibilities, connecting people, sharing knowledge, and much more. But I think we have to be careful. Uh, a future society where digital monitoring is omnipresent uh, could have massive impact uh, on people's uh, lives, options, and behaviors. Uh, I think we have to be careful that information age doesn't end up in a kind of technological monitoring grid. Uh, I'm not sure where this will lead us. I think nobody is. Uh, I'm also not sure, not exactly sure what to do, how to handle that uh, situation. Uh, but what I'm sure about this is uh, uh, people should know uh, better how it works. And don't make uh, the mistake uh, thinking there's so much information out there, nobody could ever make use of it. There are machines. They can. Uh, so what we need uh, is widespread knowledge about questions like uh, what kind of personal data does exist, who is collecting this data, and what is this data used for. Uh, and most importantly, uh, if we try to achieve awareness uh, on these issues like that, it won't work. So, uh, people tend to learn more uh, when they're having fun. And that's exactly what we try with Data Dealer. Uh, we uh, did uh, uh, the release of the demo version in German-speaking countries in April 2012. was a quite big success. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, now we are working on the full-featured international version. Release, release is planned in, uh, for 2013. Uh, and until then, uh, this is our website. This is our Facebook address. See you soon. Uh, thanks.